Hey, good morning, good evening. There in the Philippines is uh, June 12 at uh, around early morning also. Here, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, June 11. Here in Canada. Going summer. Yeah, so June 12, 1991. Uh, the date when uh, I really stopped smoking. I really did stop smoking already and it's so uh, more than how many years 1991 30 plus years so the story behind my uh, stoppage I did it thrice uh, 1986 1983 nine months 1987 three months and finally 1991 when mama is delivered her uh, youngest. youngest son Ramboy uh, on March 24 in April May June so barely Three months after the delivery of the youngest son, I really stopped smoking. But there was incident. <laughs> an incident that I cannot forget, you know. Um, behind the scene is uh, a traumatic experience. <laughs> we did the uh, cesarean section, but I did not. I was not what I was not the one who introduced the yeah. spinal anesthesia. Somebody else, senior and not even uh, mm -hmm. actively participating our in our daily operation. He's the chief then of the hospital, but he was a previous uh, the best <laughs> the best uh, of his age. And contemporaries well I just replaced him and uh, noticed that uh, when I arrived at the operating room uh, they have already the baby out and then I just uh, inherited or replace him and after that closing time but we noticed uh, vaginal bleeding or something like uh, the blood pressure is really going down and we noticed also and we found out that there was a tumor uterine tumor and something like uh, a problem so we decided to take away the uterus and I shifted the anesthesia from spinal to general and my, that was my first uh, yeah really uh, I was trained then but uh, the patient was the manager of FM or something like FM and uh, uh, popular personalities so we went well with our procedure, but not after six hours or eight hours of total abdominal hysterectomy and salpingo ophrectomy, total removal of uterus and ovaries and tubes. So we started around 10, did we finished 7 o'clock in the evening. That was the last time that I, oh, when we, uh, uh, post up, I the, the patient was still hypovolemic or something like after replacing eight bugs and calcium supplement. The patient was brought to the to the recovery room with the uh, attached to ventilator or human ventilator and waited and just went home for a while but came back later uh, 
along the way because I was planning to change uh, clothes in my, and uh, have a dinner at home. So while from the, the recovery room, I passed by somewhere Sukayan. Sukayan. So I decided to throw the 19 sticks of more cigarettes to the dimly lit uh, areas of Sukayan or somewhere DPWH and that was the last time I touched a pack of cigarettes <laughs> but the first stick was consumed before I went to the hospital because uh, when I was my attention was called up I bought one pack of cigarettes from Mama Lourdes Tianzon at the corner uh, nearby house and I smoked one stick and put that in my pocket and the 19 sticks was thrown and never came back <laughs> from then on on June 12 I did not light this day June 12 1991 I did not light the cigarette I did not anymore Stop. never did huh? Stop. total stoppage of smoking uh, th third time I did it what I said that 1983 I tried nine months of uh, because I started you know, 15 or 14 years old what caused you to stop? <laughs> yeah the most uh, maybe ideal reason is uh, and uh, the uh, the right uh, decision is to protect my health, you protect the health, COVID my COVID home, COVID? my <laughs> covenant, is not to destroy my body with smoke and my wife is the one coughing, not me. So it's really a health problem, health um, reason to stop smoking. This is my testimony for all of you smoking there. It's a really bad smoke, that bad smoke and it's uh, radicals can destroy our body by destroying the uh, elasticity of our heart and vessels and also deposits the radicals and nicotines to the brain and lungs and everything that stains our body so health reason was the main thing to consider that was uh, really exciting to reveal this June 12 each year is my um, cigarette free memory the patient was alive everything to yes I went back immediately and uh, and after that, after six hours at the recovery room, the patient was well and conscious. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. It was the first time that I saw a pale looking patient with no blood pressure. It's only in the heart. That's why as inventor, I invent uh, one piece of stethoscope here, earpiece, connected to the heart we threw the esophageal stethoscope and one from or over the chest uh, the second space there left side of the chest under your chest precordial and esophageal i compare also that the sounds coming from the skin and esophagus that's how i monitor my general anesthesia patient so maybe the the girl now is the baby girl was uh, is now 33 years old no? she might be married by then yeah 1991 so that's the story of uh, June 12 1991 thank you for watching God bless June 11 here in Canada June 12 there in the Philippines. Mama is 
the best cook in town. Bye bye. Ten minutes. <laughs>